Today's video, we're going to show you how to stop RPOs in Madden and really going to show you a couple of different styles of RPOs, really the main one either being from compression or spread sets. Now, the way we're going to stop RPOs in Madden 24 is we are going to utilize a formation like dime or dollar or even nickel so that we can have a slot corner defender. That is really the biggest key, in my opinion, uh, to stopping RPOs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our auto alignment to base align and then really come out in any defense that we want to be adjusting out of. Now, we're going to show this out a dollar. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, the link's in the description uh, to join the Patreon. That's the best place to get better at Madden. You get access to all of the content over there by being a member, and uh, I guarantee it'll make you a better Madden player. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10, and the link is down below. So how do we stop RPOs in Madden? Well, I'm glad that you asked. We're not, now, Obviously, you need to spe specify what RPO that you're trying to stop most. And I would say the most common RPO that we see are these RPO bubble screens this year. They're very difficult to stop. And let me explain why. Um, a lot of it just has to do with the way zones play in general. But essentially, if I throw this out here, a lot of times I can get out there and block it. Now, you're already seeing why Dollar does a good job against RPOs, um, or at least these bubble screens, because the the wide base, the base alignment uh, that we have and the wider the formation, the better it's going to do, um, especially stopping these compression RPOs. The compression RPOs are definitely, in my opinion, not as good as the spread RPOs. Now, we're going to start with the spread RPOs. because I do think they are they're the most challenging uh, to consistently stop. So an example of a spread RPO, let me see, I'm sure I have it in here. Let's see if I have the RPO here. RPO bubble, we just go, go to a concept. See if it's probably quick pass, right? No, is it a run concept? Here we are, RP zone alert bubble. So yeah, so this uh, trip side in offset, perfect. This is a perfect example. So this right here is a really good RPO, and the reason why is because of the formation. And what people are doing is they are essentially using these RPOs as just safe options in the passing game. Um, and there's an, a couple of issues with RPOs in general. So anyways, as you can see here, I can throw this RPO out there and he can get easy yardage. One of the other things that is really underrated uh, that is a significant issue with RPOs is let's say that I only send three. Um, we know that it's hard to play coverage in this game. If you only send three, though, as you can see, a lot of times what happens is the the line linemen literally just pancake. OK, so how can we stop this? Well, a couple things we can do. So the best tip that I can give you for stopping an RPO is out of a cover two base line defense, you want to take the slot corner that is on the side of the RPO and you want to man him up on the player that is running the RPO. In this example, it's going to be we're going to man him up on the circle and we can go ahead and pass commit. We're still sending four. And what you'll see is that man coverage will pretty much play the RPO consistently. Now, if you want to get risky, um, and you want to be a little bit more disguised in your coverage, what you can do is you can hard flat and you, you need to pass commit. And then my recommendation would be to crash your line down to kind of help against the run game. You want to be sending four when you're trying to stop the RPO. Okay, and we'll come back to that in a minute. But what you see here, here's a hard flat pass committed and you see he actually ends up intercepting the ball. So the biggest thing is you want a slot corner that is either manned up or in a hard flat uh, to, to stop that. Now, you might be saying, well, yeah, but the best way to play defense right now is to use Mabel coverage and to back off your outside corners. That's true. So let's talk about Mabel coverage for a second. So that would be putting your flats on 30, and that would be putting your curl flats on 5. The biggest issue with RPOs um, in terms of how they play against like a Mabel coverage is we would have to then utilize uh, the purple zone, and we would also be backing off that outside corner defender. This can um, stop the RPO, but as you can see, it's not as effective because he takes a little bit of a false step whenever you put him in the purple zone. So one uh, piece of advice would be to put him in a seam flat instead of a curl flat, and then to shade outside and pass commit. And those couple of little techniques right there can significantly help him get out there and stop the RPO bubble on that, uh, on that wide side uh, of the defense. Now, I did want to talk briefly about compression sets. The same concept truly um, is going to apply, but I did want to talk about this one specifically. I think that 
Um, bunch strong offset. Personally, I think this is the best formation in the game right now because it has a really good balance of run pass. It has the RPO. It has the running back on the right hand of the quarterback. It has a quads formation, so you can't match this formation. There's a lot of really good features of this. One of the worst features of this formation, in my opinion, is the when they try to run the RPO. So basically the RPO is still good, but it's not as good as some of the other ones. And the reason why is because as you can see here, and actually we get good blocking, but the main reason why is because the actual receiver that's going on the route is outside of his blockers. So if I man this guy up, number one, there's no real tell uh, in terms of, well, I guess there's right there, but there's no real tell. Let me, uh, let me show you what I mean. So yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to run the play. But basically, if we man this guy up, there's no real tell that we're manning him up um, based off of how they're lined up. So you see here the man ups there and then that that uh, that flat zone is there as well. Again, pass committing will go a long way as well in terms of your blitzing. But let me show you one more time here. So let's say I back off this corner on the right and then I man this guy up onto the, the RPO player, which is the outside player. You'll see here we're able to kind of stop it with the same basic pre-snap look. The outside leverage of the slot cornerback, specifically on compression formations, will really help in terms of, uh, of blocking this. Now, one last thing I wanna talk about is the running aspect. How do, we, how do we not get pancaked? The secret, or at least the key, in my opinion, to not getting pancaked, if you're only gonna send three, is to crash your defensive line inside and to blitz your user. That is the most important thing um, as far as not getting pancaked. And then again, um, shade your purple zones outside and if you really need to stop the RPO consider either putting your flats on uh, making your flats the underneath zone and using hard flats or using seam flats and you'll see here pretty much able to handle most of the RPO bubble screen specifically the bubble screen um, in this game now when we talk about like RPOs um, in terms of like deuce close and stuff those are a little bit different. We're going to cut, we cover that in our defensive ebooks and stuff like that. But the biggest thing with those is, again, my opinion, you need to be pass committing and shading outside. And then another big key would be bringing the safeties into the box. So you do those couple of things, and it's going to make it harder to complete RPOs. Now, you're still, RPOs are really good this year. They really are. They're probably one of the best stock plays to be running. But these are some tips that I have um, and, and that I've learned from other people as well as you know just playing the game that can significantly help with RPOs. Another great tip um, to stopping the run in general would be to crash your defensive line away from the, the slot corner. So in this example here, we crash the line uh, to the right and now the slot corner will be able to shoot the run in the backfield. So those are some tips for stopping RPOs, both out of compression base sets as well as um, spread base sets. One of my biggest things though, when I play someone and they're running the ball and they're running RPOs at a pretty high level or at least pretty consistently, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is send four, don't send three. Even if you're going to blitz your user, send four. But if you send four, you don't have to blitz your user. And then it allows you to shoot the run a little bit better. And another big tip is to shade outside. I can't stress that enough. You, you need to be shading your zone coverage outside if you don't already know that. Shading uh, does help your zone coverage play better, and they will do a better job against these RPOs. If he gets that outside leverage, he'll be able to shed it and get the tackle. So those are some tips for stopping RPOs. If you want to learn more about how to be uh, better defensively in Madden 24, join the Patreon. That's where we give you access to all the eBooks and stuff. We really break stuff down in there to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your defense to the next level, join the Patreon today for just $10 and you'll be able to get access to literally everything that we have offensively, defensively for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be down in the description. So if you want to head down to the description and go click the link down below, we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.